Hi, I'm MTG, and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today we are checking out some very fun mono black shenanigans with a new commander that might be one of my favorites. So let's go check out the deck list and I will see you in a second. Before we jump into the gameplay, I want to give a big thank you to my Patreons. So over at the Tree Folk level, thank you, LOL Copter, Frosty K. And our little sapperlings over here, thank you so much for your support. We have Ishtari, Brennan Such, JS, Jolly Good J, Sasser, Queen B, Vinny Chase, Ye Gutierrez, Tanade Mohammed, and Andrew Cow. All right, today we are rocking Ashiok Wicked Manipulator, or Wicked Sick Manipulator. <laughs> They're 5 CMC, and if you would pay life while your library has at least that many cards in it, exile that many cards from the top of your library instead. So I see that as a way to be like, hey, we'll keep letting you do this until you potentially mill yourself or, you know, remove your library from existing. Keeping you from decking yourself. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, but with this, it's plus one ability. It's really interesting for like card advantage. So we have look at the top two cards of your library, exile one of them, put the other into your hand. Minus two ability is some nice built-in protection for this planeswalker. So you have create two token dudes that get bigger when you exile stuff for you know a turn or just exile something this turn is what I meant to say. And then the minus seven ability is exiles the top X cards of their library where X is the total mana value of cards you own in exile. So I think like target player, you may want to do this with like your opponent. If you have something like Lord of the Forsaken out or Doom Whisper, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on this judges, but I believe you can just pay life, keep exiling like a ton of cards from your library and then you just minus seven Ashiok's ability and then potentially like mill out your opponent's library. So. That was kind of my intent for having like these two cards in it. And then for some other stuff that we have to kind of just work with Ashiok's ability here is Gix and Erebos the black carded where we're both like using that to, you know, pay life, draw cards and all those shenanigans. So it kind of felt a little bit like the Rowan Scions, uh, you know, deck list there where we're putting stuff in that kind of punches ourselves a little bit. But the plus side is we also have a lot of like life gain in this deck as well. So if we're, you know, losing creatures from board wipes or, you know, if we're just gaining life in general, hopefully we can stay alive to keep feeding Ashiok's ability and all these other things that we want to do for the win. But I really enjoyed this deck, so I'm super excited to show you all the shenanigans that we get into. And yeah, I'll see you out there. The Italian, the kindly lord. So kindly. Ooh, I kind of do like this hand. Not the best for card draw options, but we got shenanigans, you know? So enter the battlefield, choose a number between one and 10. Whenever your opponent casts a spell with mana value, power or toughness equal to that number, player loses two life and you draw a card. All right. Then like maybe two would be the best one to use against this deck. Ooh, and they have the pretty lands. Oh, and they're getting their commander out. Well, friend, we are going to be exiling. Yeah, they picked two. Figured that's where they were going. But we are in mono black, so we don't care if we lose a life. We never had a life to begin with, so... Alright, go to bonk. Bonk action happened. I'm probably going to do this fashion next, unless something really spicy off the top happens. Okay. So Bastion, they might have counter magic up too. Nope, okay. Bonk. Bonk happened. Sweet. And we also will have stuff for Ravnus, which is always a fun time. And I think I'm gonna put in Gissa next. Okay, they have Solemn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. So here's our friend. We'll attack for one. They're probably happy with this exchange. So I'm going to do the minus one here. Sweet. We'll get our own Solemn. They don't get the card draw because it was exiled. So the card draw from Solemn's, it dies. All right here. Okay. Well, our friend was exiled <laughs> in return. 
Um, they might be saving the wash away there, so I'm gonna put in the soul guide. We're not in a huge rush, you know? Let's just exile that. And we'll go ahead and attack. Whoop. Okay. I just wanted to respect the potential wash away there, but we also are leaving stuff up for our own shenanigans. At some point, I might just try to force the counter spell out too. So let's just do it. Counter spell. Oh, oh, and we get treasure. I'm okay with that. That just helps us recast our commander. All right. Of the counter spells, that one's definitely one of the nicer ones. Bonk. Okay. So they could tap out, cast their commander. Or just pass if they have the counter spells and stuff. Ooh. Okay. We do have Diabolic Intent up, which will be quite nice. And I think I'm just gonna do the exile piece here. Ooh, we'll exile Gravelighter. Keep Orcish Bowmasters ready. Ready with their bow. But we do have the Diabolic Intent here. I am wondering if they're getting ready to like chain like a million counter spells or something. Uh, hand. Not counter spells. I'm an extra turn. I don't know. I thought counter spells. Okay, so that seems good. Storming off over here. Um, let's diabolic intent. Sacrifice this creature. What do we want to grab? Breach. Or do we want? Bolus. Let's do Bolus. Why not? We're, we're for fun here. Um, I'm just going to flash in Orcish Bowmasters if they try to draw like a million cards, which they might. Okay, so we're going to do that now. A few. They'll be taking three damage as well. You. Yeah, I add my own effects in. I just hit a land. Boom. Friend's gone. They took some decent damage that turn, though. Wow. Okay, they're passing. Ooh, I hope they don't have the counter spell, but here we go. Oh, they didn't. Let's get this friend in. Ah, and then we hit the land. Of course. <laughs> That's how it always goes. <laughs> and have a way to shuffle. Okay. I think all we have to do then is put Vito in and do the five cost here for their shenanigans, but we may not have the ability to do that actually. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh goodness, that's scary. Hmm. Put you in, we're just gonna be one short. How much counter damage do we take there? Uh, let's go ahead and start here. We're gonna attack. Five there. <laughs> we're so close. Um. We're gonna put you in. And we are gonna create two of you. And I'm scared if I cast this Liliana, it might kill us. My army will envelop this world. One no. One two creatures. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was in think pink mode for there for for a second. Uh, yellow. Okay, take action. Ooh, breach is there. Um, let's cast this. Destroy you. And 
and oh we can just actually win by doing this there i saw it <laughs> so i got there eventually friends <laughs> g geez Ooh, inferno of the star mounts we will keep can't be countered, friends. A spoopy dragon in the sky. Isn't that what we all aspire to be? Right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> Trying to find a pun somewhere. Anywhere I can. <gasps> Not my dragon! Fire! It's okay, we still draw the card. Mm, okay. The Goblin Gathering. I guess he needed a gathering of the gobbos. Some raw gobbos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. I will still block. You giving them some combat trick thing? Those two? Okay. Well, bummer. Joke's on you, though. We are playing black, so we don't care if our stuff dies. Uh, draw a card. Okay, we've got Wolf Strider in the mix. They're gonna say hello. I'm hoping they don't have the other mana. I just Oh no, they did! There goes Inferno. It's gonna be dropping in here. Yeah, I probably will just jump block with Enrica if that's the case. And then board wipe with blood on the snow. Okay. Manders in. And yep. Sorry, friend. Throwing you under the proverbial bus. Oh no, I can't do math. It's okay, we can do this though. Mostly just hoping that buys us a turn to get to blood on the snow. And we can get shielded back too. They can definitely hit us for a very solid bonk here. I have four cards in the library. Or graveyard. Gold span. Ooh, I hope that's not lethal. I refuse to do the math. No, they, it won't be. Okay. Whew. I was thinking they could still pump their dragon for a bit more. <laughs> okay. Okay. And damage. Just a casual 10. It's fine. Oof. Okay, they are going to be empty handed at least. Oh man, they are going for the maximum hit here. Oof. Oof. Me heart. My bones. Uh, swampy poo. And let's try to go in for our own bonk action here. Opponent's thinking. Opponent takes it. Alright. So then now we're gonna do our little snow here. Pay with all this life. Oof. And then we're definitely gonna need to leave Murdus Rider ammo up. Okay. Oof. Put you in. Is that going to be enough? I think we put in Woe Strider. Yeah. And then that goat will help keep things protected. Uh, and then we're going to leave stuff up for Murder Strider if they drop it in the Inferno again. Just got to play it a little, little cautiously here because we don't have a way to stop a flyer. Okay, so they're passing. Got a little mana friend there. And putting in Ashiok. Ooh, my heart. <laughs> my heart right now. I'm so nervous. I only have two or five life. But it'll be like three after I attack eventually. Um, I will just go ahead with Shieldred. Put a little bit of a clock on them as well. Bonk. Okay. Hanging out. I don't like the way they're looking at Ashiok though. Look the other way, friend. I hope they don't have, like, okay, whew. So here comes Inferno. And we are going to blow that up. And oh my god. <laughs> we are down to three life. <laughs> but they are empty handed and I'm hoping they don't just like top deck what they need. Okay. Pass. I will block. There's more shielded stuff. Okay. 
My turn. Sweet. Ooh. Um, let's get this friend in. Just have some life gain. Let's look at the top cards here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I went a little risky there, but I think this Diabolic Tutor could help save us here. And... Let's get... Let me feel the battlefield. How much are they, though? I can't even tell. So they just have to top deck one land. And I don't want to risk that. So I think we need to get the removal. So let's do that. Um, I don't want to risk if they top deck something that'll blow up one of my blockers. So we're just going to play like super cautious here because they just have to make one more land drop to hit their inferno. And I tutored for the hero's downfall to try to stay alive. Okay. Okay. So it does one damage. It was where that was said, like, any target, and I was like, ah! Okay. Adorable My turn. Okay. Ooh, a Feomancer is gonna be good. I'm still leaving that one up, just in case. Uh... Let's exile the Cold Steel. There we go. Needed that land drop, too. Feels a bit of a Nambo right now with Shouldered, but I think just exiling their stuff won't hurt too much at the end of the day. Um, I'm going to attack with Murderous to get some life. Okay. Done. Bonk, bonk. Gain some life. Friends back in the library. And we make a snake. Oof. So they attack with that. That's actually going to probably kill us. Cancel. So if they attack, it's going to deal four damage, putting us at one. I don't think we want to risk yet either. Because um, if I can get braids in, we will start slowly gaining enough life. But if they attack with those two, we still can block, stay alive. We'll go down to one though. But we just can't risk that inferno hitting us over the top here. Okay. Resolve. Oof. Oh, sorry. Down to three. I lied. I can't do math. <laughs> uh, in here. Bonk, bonk. Okay. Okay. Oof. My beating heart here, friends. Okay. I think we're just going to keep on with the card advantage. Uh, we'll exile the swamp, keep the meat hook. Sweet. And go to combat now that we're not worried about little friends bonking us as much. In turn. Hope. Hope I don't regret that. Sweet. Okay. Snack. Snack. They get that land. We still have heroes downfall. Okay, they have the haste. Glad I kept that. Guessing they're going to combat. And they're not going to trigger the volcanic thing. Boom. Whew. I'm so glad I tutored for that. <laughs> okay. We are just going to go to combat. Bonk, 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 bonk. Woo! GG's, friends. That was a very close one. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Linden the Steadfast Queen. Both Eldraine commanders. More opposites. Um, I will keep because I like the removal that we have. Cletus is also just really fun for the life gain and being annoying. Especially if a board wipe happens and they have a bunch of creatures out. Uh, dropping those snow covered swampy poo. Yeah. And then they're all about gaining that life. Okay. I got some friends in. You, I can wait, I think. Blow that up. Very aggressive right off the bat. 
but I am going to blow them up to buy a syrup a little bit more time because they will start gaining life and that is quite a lot of life that they would gain because it's whenever a white creature attacks. So I'll put this friend in and then I'll do Gix. And probably Catildus, Kalidus, however you say their name. Something with a K. Ooh, nice. Speaker of the heavens. The real talkative over here. Okay, so I hold back. Let's put in this friend now. And I'm not going to attack. I think we want our blockers up to deter them from attacking in. Okay. Features are in. Okay. Block here and block here. Bonk, bonk. And make some zombos. Sweet. Okay, so we have a few board wipes now. I don't think we need to board wipe though, so I'm gonna put in Ashiok actually. Let's do their plus one ability. Ooh. Let's get the Prowler exiled. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Okay. Okay. All right. This is gonna be token time. Okay. So, I think I'm just gonna go straight into the board wipe. Destroy all non dragon creatures. No, I clicked the. Ah! Oops. Bummed at myself for that one. Uh, we'll exile the swamp. I can't even right now. That's a huge bummer. Literally. Oh, Arena. Would it be me if I didn't misclick something, though? Gotta hope I top deck a land here. Oh, they skipped through combat? Okay. Was not expecting that. Uh, do this. Please hit a land, please hit a land. Oh, thank goodness. We're exiling that. Oh, goodness, thank you. We shall live. This time, I will correctly kick, click the load. I can't believe I messed that up so bad before. We're getting this friend back out. Wow. See if I still went after that glorious misclick there. Just wasted a board wipe <laughs> an entire turn. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay. What a glorious unicorn. Let's put this friend in. We'll put this friend in. And let's equip this to you. And... What do we want to do with our life? Let's do this. Okay. This friend. And... Attack. 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 Yeah. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. We do have our indestructible friend that'll be a solid blocker here. Okay. So 
So let's start with, I think, Ashiok, actually. Let's exile the Swampy Poo. Let's blow up the Celestial Unicorn. Sick. And let's do Shieldred. Okay. Shieldred resolves. Gonna make a Rob Zombie here in a sec. Okay. Rob Zombie. Perfect. Now we're gonna go bonk. Look at that. Synergies. A feral would feel pretty sad, but I don't think it would blow us out. Okay, I was waiting for them to do that. Okay. Where they'd spend mana to level that up. So we're gonna do feed the swarm. Mitigate that a little bit, but in Henrika, we have Rob Zombies for days to feed to Henrika's Sacrifice a Creature effect. Um, we'll exile the land again, get the Stark Ritual, and then I think what makes the most sense is actually just going to combat, maybe? Actually, let's do each player sacrifices. I'm back and forth today. Can't make decisions. Sacrifice you. Boom. Make another Rob Zombo. Take action. I'm hoping to get to the combo eventually, but maybe we won't. GG's opponent. Fergus the Ingi. So Ingi. They're playing Rakdos. Feels on brand. Uh, hmm. This might be dumb, but I'm going to keep it. It's going to be tricky, tricky too. I just really love uh, Kalidus, and then we also have the Call of the Ring to maybe help us with card draw if we get in a tricky spot. Also liked having an Infernal Grasp for removal. Ooh! Hit our other land drop. Put this in. We are burying the ring. All right. And draw a card. Sweet. I'm going to put in Snow Covered Swamp. And I'm just going to blow up that jury now because if they have treasures and stuff like that, it's just going to be a lot of damage potentially to my face. So if I can throw them back a little bit, that'll help. And I'll probably do the Kalidus next. Because that'll definitely mess with them if they're trying to sacrifice creatures. It'll definitely be something that they're going to want to blow up and remove though. So report seems good. Again, this is going to mess with them quite a bit. And then we're going to put Kalidus in, hoping that they don't have the removal for it. They might have the removal for it. But that does kind of shut down their deck. I'm so nervous. Don't have it. Leave them alone. It's just a cute little Zombo. You've never seen that Zombo in your whole life. I'm actually okay with that, assuming our, our buddy lives another turn here. <laughs> kind of nervous about that, though. No! Oh, well. At least it's just destroy. Okay, put in this friend. Then we're going to get Ashiok in. And I will create two friends. And then we're going to bonk face. Bonk. Okay. May I at least have stuff to sacrifice for the deadly dispute, too. I'm probably going to use Ashiok's ability to exile something next. And it looks like they're saving the Traveler's Amulet as something to sacrifice to put a counter on Jury. Yep. Okay. So let's put in that snow covered swampy poop. And we're going to look. Mm hmm. Open your mind mm. to me. Black Market Connections always scares me. I'll exile Callous Blood Mage. Okay. Then we're going to put in the Black Market Connections. I'm going to leave Deadly Dispute up. And then I think I'm just going to attack here. Yeah. Bonk, bonk, bonk. 
and just leave stuff as is. Is this whenever you sacrifice? So if I sacrifice stuff, it won't feed it. But with Vito out, I'm feeling a little bit better because we'll be able to gain back some of the life that we lose to uh, Black Market and other things. Okay. I too will deadly dispute. That makes sense to me as well. Ooh, and this is going to mess with them as well. That's kind of funny. I'm looking forward to this. That looks like they're also using cool, like, artifact stuff to beat the jury triggers as well. Okay. Going in for the bonk. Sweet. Let's full send it, baby. Ooh, cracks of fate. Um. Let's start with looking at the top here. We have blood on the snow. Let's actually do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. I misclicked that. I'm st I still keep thinking you click the one that you want to keep. <laughs> Oops. I think I'll be fine, though. Um, and let's do our friend here. And let's gain some life. Auto pay two. And let's get this little basic swampy poop. And then they'll lose two life here. And then I will go to combat. Bonk. Sweet. Shenanigans. But yeah, if they sacrifice creatures, Gisa is just gonna like exile them automatically. And then I get a decayed token zombie. Not higher. Oh, oh my goodness, we just lost speedo. I'm not um, hovering over it. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say I didn't want to draw a ton of attention, but oh well. Uh, we'll block here. Okay. So, we'll full send again. Perfect. Um, let's just destroy legendary creatures here. So destroy all legendaries. We're gonna take a little bit from Jiri's attack plane damage here. I think it was three. Okay. We can live with that. It's not too big of a deal. Let's do the exile thing again. Um, we'll exile that. There we go. And we can now use that to not worry about jury's triggers. And I'm feeling nice and cozy there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep. Resolve. So again, we are just gonna exile that. And their commander is quite expensive now. Okay. So YOLO. We'll just do these two. Okay. Man, we are hitting all the land drops. It's nice, but it'd also be nice to hit other things. Um Let's do Woe Strider and keep the meat hook. Let's do this to see what else we can draw into. Um let's get Vito back out. Put you in. And then that makes me feel a little better. Let's go to combat and hit let's hit their face actually, because we might be a little low on life here. Yeah. Okay. Resolve. Okay. Take action. And I think if they just play their commander. Okay. My turn. Okay. We'll just do this and this. Whew. Shenanigans be had. Okay. Uh, I do want to activate this ability. And we'll go to combat. Oop, oop. Gain what life we can. Pow, and I think that did it. GG's. Sometimes Vito's just a random game closer <laughs> like that. Krenko, sweet. Hopefully we get our massacre worm out in time, but we might not because of uh, how quickly they build it. <gasps> and it's even in <laughs> we manifested massacre worm. Uh, the only thing is I'm kind of worried about using this is because uh, we don't hit our other land drops. They could just snowball and massacre us. 
think I will take that molly. Mm, not super happy, but I don't want to go down a hand size. We do have some two mana plays here. And this will discourage people a lot of times from attacking in. Okay. So Krenko is the buddy that whenever they attack, they put counters on and make Gabos equivalent to that cost. We do have Baleful Mastery that can also help deal with them. But usually this Guild Sworn is pretty good at like making people second guess about attacking in. Assuming that they don't blow it up either. Okay. Okay. Let's put in this Dusk Legion just as another blocker. We're gonna be hanging out. Oh yeah, another land drop. Feels good. Okay, no attacks. We're just hanging out with life and stuff. You know? This makes me think of um, the old like Duracell battery commercials. Um, sure. I don't know what other shenanigans you got up your sleeve. There you are in red. Known for those combat shenanigans. Okay, so hit another land drop. Again, feels good. Let's do Gissa. Because that's going to give us their shenanigans in the decay token form. But I think I will attack in for one. I don't think they're going to block. Yeah. Sweet. And red does have some more decent board wipes now, like Spiteful Banditry. I think I said that right this time. <laughs> that word is so hard for me to say. Uh, but I really like that card. Oh! Alright, friends. GG's. Alright. I hope y'all had fun because I sure as heck did. I honestly didn't know what to call out as MVP here because there was just so much like powerful, amazing synergies that were going on. I think maybe Vito deserves a good shout out because it definitely helped me close out a couple of the games. Uh, overall though, I went five and one. So we won five matches, lost one. The one that we lost was to the first slivers where I was getting close to potentially, you know, taking the lead there but then I didn't hit into a board wipe when I really needed one, and then they just did their snowball cascade thing. It was a pretty long game, and overall I didn't think it was like super interesting, so I left that one out, but did want to call out the fact that I didn't win every single game with this commander, but I still had a very high win rate, so I definitely thought they were a lot of fun. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and most of all, stay to the end. I appreciate all of you, and especially you new subscribers. You've been very kind in the comments, so I appreciate all that. And yeah, have a good one. Bye.